The Yazara air defense system represents a significant milestone in Iran's military development. As an unlicensed derivative of the Chinese HQ-7, it's self-modeled after the French Crotel short-range air defense system, the Yazara highlights Iran's ability to reverse engineer and improve upon existing foreign technologies. Entering production in 2013, this system has become a cornerstone of Iran's air defense strategy designed to safeguard vital assets against aerial threats in a region marked by high-stakes geopolitical tensions and rapid advancements in military technology. The Yazara system, while based on older designs, incorporates several advancements aimed at addressing Iran's unique defense needs. It is a short-range system, optimized to intercept low-altitude aerial threats, including helicopters, aircraft, and certain types of missiles. The system's ability to integrate into broader air defense networks allows it to function cohesively with Iran's medium- and long-range platforms, such as the Rod and Bavar 373 systems. This layered approach ensures that targets at various altitudes and distances can be engaged effectively. The transition from the original Yazara to its latest iteration, the Yazara 3, also known as Hertz 9, represents a leap in capability. The Hertz 9 is a mobile, truck-mounted system, emphasizing flexibility and rapid deployment. Unlike the earlier versions, which carried four missiles, the Hertz 9 is equipped with two Shahabe Sakeb missiles. This reduction in missile count is offset by significant improvements in other areas. One of the most critical advancements is the system's passive operational mode. Unlike active radar systems, which emit signals that can be detected and targeted, passive systems rely on electro-optical sensors, making them far more challenging to locate. This passivity not only enhances survivability, but also aligns with Iran's doctrine of avoiding direct confrontation with technologically superior adversaries. The Hertz 9 is equipped with an array of electro-optical sensors, including video and thermal tracking capabilities, as well as a laser rangefinder. These sensors enable the system to operate effectively in various weather conditions and environments, including areas with heavy electronic warfare activity. Additionally, the system's resistance to jamming and other forms of electronic interference ensures its reliability in contested airspace. The Yazara and Herds 9 systems are deployed to protect critical infrastructure, military installations, and urban centers. Their integration into Iran's broader air defense network ensures comprehensive coverage, creating a multi-layered shield against potential aerial incursions. The system's mobility allows for rapid repositioning, enabling operators to adapt to changing tactical situations. The Yazara was first showcased during the Defenders Vilayet Skies 4 air defense drills, where its ability to operate as part of an integrated network was tested. According to Iranian sources, the system performed effectively intercepting simulated targets and demonstrating its readiness for operational deployment. While these claims are difficult to verify independently, the consistent emphasis on showcasing such systems in military drills indicates their importance to Iran's overall defense strategy. The Hertz 9 variant, in particular, reflects Iran's focus on countering low-altitude threats, such as drones and cruise missiles, which have become increasingly prevalent in modern conflicts. The system's advanced sensors and electronic warfare resistance make it well-suited for addressing these challenges, although its effectiveness against more sophisticated threats, such as stealth aircraft, remains questionable. Iran's investment in the Yazara system is part of a broader effort to achieve self-sufficiency in defense production. Faced with decades of international sanctions and restrictions on arms imports, Iran has prioritized the development of indigenous military technologies. The Yazara serves as a testament to this effort, blending reverse engineering with domestic innovation to create a system tailored to Iran's specific needs. In the context of regional competition, the Yazara occupies a unique position. Its primary competitors include advanced systems deployed by Saudi Arabia, 
such as the American-made Patriot System and Israel's Iron Dome. While these systems benefit from state-of-the-art technology and extensive support networks, the Yazara offers a cost-effective alternative that prioritizes survivability and mobility. This focus on asymmetric capabilities reflects Iran's broader military doctrine, which emphasizes the ability to counter technologically superior adversaries through innovative tactics and systems. The mobility and passive nature of the Hertz 9 are particularly noteworthy in this context. By reducing its reliance on active radar and enhancing its resistance to electronic warfare, the system is better positioned to operate in environments where traditional air defense systems might struggle. However, its relatively short engagement range and limited missile capacity may limit its effectiveness against large-scale or highly coordinated attacks. To better understand the Yazahara system's place in the broader landscape of air defense, it is useful to compare it with similar systems. The French Crotail, upon which the HQ-7 and subsequently the Yazara are based, remains a capable Shorad system, but it has largely been supplanted by more advanced platforms in many countries. The Chinese HQ-7, while similar in design, benefits from continuous upgrades and integration into China's sophisticated air defense network. Regionally, the Patriot system deployed by Saudi Arabia and the Iron Dome in Israel represent the gold standard in air defense. The Patriot is a long-range system capable of intercepting ballistic missiles, while the Iron Dome is optimized for countering short-range rocket and artillery threats. Both systems benefit from cutting-edge technology, extensive testing, and support from their respective allies. In contrast, the Yazara is a more limited system, designed to fill specific gaps in Iran's air defense architecture. Its cost-effectiveness and focus on survivability make it well-suited for Iran's asymmetric warfare doctrine, but it lacks the versatility and technological sophistication of its regional counterparts. Despite its advancements, the Yazara system faces several challenges. Its reliance on older missile technologies, such as the Shahabe Sakeb, limits its effectiveness against modern aerial threats. Additionally, the system's short range and limited missile capacity restrict its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. These limitations underscore the need for continued investment in research and development to enhance the system's capabilities. Looking ahead, the future of the Yazara system will likely depend on Iran's ability to integrate it with other platforms and develop more advanced variants. The emphasis on mobility and electronic warfare resilience is a step in the right direction, but further improvements in range, targeting accuracy, and missile technology will be essential to maintain its relevance in an increasingly competitive landscape. The development and deployment of the Yazara system reflect broader trends in Iran's military doctrine. Faced with a challenging geopolitical environment and constrained resources, Iran has adopted a strategy that prioritizes self-reliance, innovation, and asymmetric capabilities. The Yazara exemplifies this approach, offering a cost-effective and flexible solution to the challenges posed by regional adversaries and potential external interventions. By investing in systems like the Yazara, Iran aims to create a layered defense network capable of countering a wide range of threats. This strategy not only enhances Iran's defensive capabilities, but also serves as a deterrent, signaling its ability to respond to potential aggression. At the same time, the focus on indigenous production and innovation underscores Iran's commitment to reducing its dependence on foreign suppliers, a critical consideration given the enduring impact of international sanctions. The Yazara air defense system is a testament to Iran's ingenuity and adaptability in the face of significant challenges. While it may not match the technological sophistication of systems deployed by regional competitors, its focus on cost-effectiveness, mobility, and survivability aligns with Iran's broader military strategy. As tensions in the Middle East continue to evolve, the Yazara serves not only as a critical component of Iran's air defense network, but also as a symbol of its determination to assert its sovereignty 
and defend its interests in an increasingly complex and competitive security environment.